hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you how you can bring character creator for morph morphs into unreal engine using mesh morpher we will morph the meshes and the skeletons as well so let's get started we will start with a neutral base right because it's easier to start uh, from uh, something generic and uh, morph into something more uh, particular and uh, let's wait for it to load so this is our uh, base character and uh, we will export this uh, first of all to FBX and we will select Unreal Mesh and uh, just export this and we will create here a folder named base and just export this here. Now that uh, we have our base mesh, we can start with uh, the morphs, right? Uh, we can uh, check full body morphs if uh, we want to use them. It's easier. We're, we're going to use uh, Kevin, for example. But we will also morph the head as well. Okay. We'll export them to FBX. We will create another folder for Kevin here. We create this folder so we can easily track and find the stuff. And now let's uh, let's see another morph uh, that we can create. Let's go with Slacker. Slacker is pretty cool. Let's export this as well. Okay, and uh, let's uh, find some other uh, morph target. Let's go with a uh, female morph target, probably. Let's go with this one. And let's export this as well. Okay, now we can go uh, into Unreal and uh, import uh, our uh, base character. We will only import the base character. Let's create a new folder. Uh, let's create another subfolder here, base, just in case we want to add some other characters in the future. And uh, let's import uh, our base uh, FBX. Okay. Okay, we imported the, the base character. Let's save uh, all files. And now we have uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, character creator for mesh uh, inside the engine. Let's create an animation blueprint. We will uh, use this uh, to test uh, some stuff. Let's save that as well. And now let's open Mesh Morpher. Select our base character and go to create from Mesh files. Select from uh, our exports as base file, we will select the base FPX.
Okay, and uh, as morphed, we will start with uh, we will start with Alika. Okay. Uh, now let's uh, select our uh, Kevin uh, FBX file. And the last one, the Slacker FBX file. Okay, now we have uh, all three morphs on our base character. Let's test them out. This is Alika, this is Kevin, and this is Slacker, right? Uh, we need, uh, as you can see, they have different skeleton uh, uh, proportions and uh, we need to morph the skeletal mesh and uh, also the skeleton as well right so let's start with the uh, slacker we will go to create from pose we will uh, go down in uh, the morph target list you can move this uh, window anywhere if you want I'm gonna move it here just so we have it a little bit uh, more visible and we will select slacker and we will go to uh, to bone snapshot right we will pick a name for this bone snapshot and click save now that the bone snapshot has been created we can load it and update uh, the slacker move target from the current pose right so let's update and now if we enable this morph target while we have this bone snapshot uh, loaded uh, uh, the slacker character looks uh, as intended and uh, the skeleton is changed as well right so let's do the same for uh, all uh, other uh, uh, morphs right let's unload this let's do this for our lika we go to the bone snapshot, pick a name, and now we update from pose. And as you can see, it works fine. And uh, let's do the same for Kevin. We select it, we go to the bone snapshot, pick a name, and uh, load, don't forget to load it, and update from pose. So now that we have the bone snapshot that modify our skeletons and we have the morph target deltas that uh, uh, apply the differences from the skeleton changes to the final uh, form we can uh, go ahead and test uh, things out right so we created this uh, base skeleton uh, animation blueprint and we will use this to test it we will pick here an input pose just for the sake of it we don't have yet any animation that's up to you to uh, to uh, add in your game or whatever you're creating and we pick here a load bone snapshot node and uh, we can uh, can go here and see the bones so we can see the changes in this window here and now uh, we will select a Lika we will first test a Lika uh, character and also we need to add a modify curve right so we will add this modify curve uh, node here connect everything here and uh, for the modify uh, curve node we need to expose as pin and create a, a curve map right and uh, our uh, morph target name is alika and we will pick here alika name 
we set a value of 1 and we can see a Lika with skeleton updated as well. Uh, let's test uh, the other ones as well. Let's test Slacker. As you can see, Slacker is also loaded. Uh, let's test Kevin as well. And yeah, uh, it works fine. Yeah, for uh, Slacker, if you check it out, Slacker. Slacker. Okay. You can see it has some artifacts uh, uh, around here, right? Uh, we can fix that if uh, we open the uh, skeletal mesh and uh, we have to go to LOD uh, settings here and we need to recompute tangents all, right? We need to select this so we recompute all tangents. Let's select everything. Okay, and now that we selected recompute tangents to all channels, you can see that we don't have that visual uh, normal artifacts uh, for a slacker, right? And uh, I think this is it for this video. You can, uh, as a side note in uh, Skeleton uh, Animation Blueprint, you can build all kinds of logic, like if you create a, uh, a character creator or you do something uh, in that area that allows user to, users to select a uh, um, a shape like uh, attributes for uh, for their character i think this is amazing and it's very easy uh it's very easy to uh to implement in uh in uh, your uh, in your game and uh, this is how it looks when uh, we bring it uh, into uh, uh skeletal mesh previewer and if uh, we bring it into world Let's bring it the base character. This is how it looks. It's very easy to create stuff that allows user to users to customize. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like this video. I hope you find it very useful for your projects. And I'm looking forward to see what you build with it. See ya.